Maybe hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. From the Motorcycle Mission Studio in uh, Peoria. I f***ed that up. You can just keep going. Are you sure you're recording? Yep. <laughs> you keep this on for bloopers. Okay. From the How to Wrench Studio in Peoria, Arizona for the Motorcycle Missions Project. Let's teach you something. We're going to be tightening the clutch adjuster screw lock nut to 72 to 120 inch pounds. So, should I just get a wrench on there and bust all my knuckles and scratch all the... How, how would we go about doing that? Uh, torque wrench with a crow's foot and an Allen wrench or... A custom tool. Sweet. Yeah, so check this out. I'm going to show you. Oh, you guys put a recluse in here? Yep. Woo! Wow, motorcycle missions doesn't mess around. We're going to show you something cool. I don't know if you uh, want to get maybe a little closer. Um, this is a tool I made years ago teaching at the college. You got a couple different versions of it for Harley Davidsons where you could take and grab onto your adjuster. In our case here, we have an Allen and then here's our, our lock nut. So once we just loosen this with a, a special tool, here, uh, we can take and actually get our free play set up on our cable. And once we're at that point, Harley Davidson does have a specification, which is what? 72 to 120. Inch Show him uh, that he's actually looking it up here. We're just guessing. I mean, we're actually looking up a torque spec here. So can't stress enough, use manuals, look it up. And then uh, what I want to do is I want to torque this. But the problem is if I just try and put a regular wrench on here, just pretend I grabbed a regular wrench, uh, I'm not able to torque it, and then I'd have to just go by feel. So I'm going to grab uh, the new, new torque wrench that we're playing around the shop. We're trying to get a lot of experience on these e-torque uh, brand torque wrenches that we're using here. Loving the feel of these. So I'm going to go ahead, and what I like to do is always start at the bottom of the scale. And it's not uncommon for me to do a half step. So I'll just sit here. We're at 50. Here's a 72. Since we had 72 to 120, I'm going to go ahead here and uh, just torque it at that. But let me show you what how we can do that. And then you feel good about it, right? Because it's, it's torque. So I want to make sure I'm going to get in my adjuster screw. I'm going to get on there. And then I can slip my... Uh, my crow's foot on here to give me workable room, right? And here's the important part of using a torque wrench on adapters is anytime we use an adapter, actually, I'm going to stress this and I'll do it backwards here. Anytime we use an adapter, we want to use it at 90 degrees to cancel out the leverage differences because of the adapter. If I'm here, let me show that. If I'm here, I've effectively changed the length of the torque wrench, or if I was here, 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 anywhere in between there, I'm going to effectively change it. But that's what we need to do. So we don't want to create a problem. We want to just do it the right way. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab on here, and then I'm going to uh, eyeball my 90 degree cancellation. I'm going to hold this here. I might get my knee up against here, okay, and click. Okay, so that's just the first one. Then I'll go up to the 120. I think uh, Brian had a good elbow. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 120. I love these gauges on these torque wrenches. I didn't show this earlier, did it out of habit already, but check this out too. Go ahead and back up. It's got a lock, so you can't move it. So I'm digging that. Uh, go back here. You notice how I pull this back each time just to make sure that I'm in there. It'd be so easy to be above it and have this bottom out and then you're not holding it and you're jacking it up. So I'm going to go in with the special tool on here, back here. I'm going to get all my body language, everything in place. And oh, see, we got a little movement out of it, didn't we? So I'm going to say this. I mean, get this dude. So he elbow clicked this. And I'm going to say that that elbow clicker, it clicked at 72, so you were there. It moved at 120. So he is somewhere in between 72 and 120. That's fun stuff. All right, there is our tip of the day for how to properly uh, use the tools and torque it per the, uh, per the manufacturer. I just try to tell people, 
I don't necessarily want to be the engineer. If I'm given a, a good value on something, I want to go ahead and use it. This is just a cool way to accomplish that without a you know million dollars worth of tools. I think the driver was probably seven or ten bucks from a hardware store. Socket might have been five bucks. Welded up a nut and uh, pretty cool. And we can do it the right way. So if you haven't done so yet, please make sure and like, share, subscribe, everything with How to Wrench. Head on over to Motorcycle Missions and uh, follow this project this bike that we took all back apart today uh to to wrap up the rough build of it's done we're just finishing up wiring and uh, we're real excited because we're getting ready to hit that starter button pretty soon but follow these veterans and if you haven't done so yet today find a veteran go thank them for what they do stay tuned as always keep wrenching